With all these guys coming off the IR, and I don't know if T.Y. is actually off the IR yet or not, but so. like, how long is it going to take? Well, I have, uh, I have some inside sources there. Oh. oh! He still has to pass a couple things from what I've been told. Okay. How optimistic from what I've been told. Felt like it was optimistic, but still not 100% in against Houston at home in Indianapolis, if that makes sense. But he is practicing, and we listened to um, – his press conference yesterday where he talked about it, he said immediately – and by the way, T.Y. Hilton is a lightning rod. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Of energy, talking, upbeat, always going to hear him when he walks into a room, especially at this stage where he's a leader. He's the oldest. He's been around the longest. He's a guy that is beloved in that locker room. He's beloved in that building by everybody, and he's great at fucking football. So him coming back immediately lifts everybody, especially at 1-4. And, and although Carson Wentz said he can't look at the records just about next week, everybody's feeling that they're 1-4. And, and if they're not, we need to get a fucking pulse check on that goddamn building that he yeah. should yeah. be at least acknowledging that they're 1-4. and four. But this does not nothing but bring back a little ven- a little energy but my sources have told me he is not cleared to play yet i don't know if that's going to happen today i don't know if that's going to happen whenever i didn't get into the specifics of that with uh, my particular source oh, but it does feel like they are very optimistic and the team is rallying around like ty hilton potentially being back i think jarvis landry also returns back to practice today